I freaking suck at this game. If only there was another way I could get better. Wait, I think there is a way. I think I know what I can do. This will help me out. Of course. Why didn't I think of this? Under the mayo, he's gonna help me out, right? Oh, let me get some of this. This ought to be really good. <clears throat> oh, so good. All right, well, let's try this again now. How's it going everyone? Hope you're having an awesome day so far. With all things aside, definitely want to make this more of a serious video and that Under the Mayo actually is a good motivation to make me a better Doom player. And I'm sure there are obviously a lot of other people out there that might agree with me as well. That, you know, with Mayo, like with how he's growing in the community, with how great he actually is with analyzing video games, and especially right now, Doom, he's making a big impression upon the community. And so I just mostly wanted to make a video with my expression of how I feel about the situation with him being more or less the spotlight in the doom community so before i get going if you're new here and love doom content then definitely consider subscribing and setting up notifications so you can stay up to date with the channel i haven't been as active as i have been lately mostly just still recovering from my illness which i don't know what the frick it is but uh hopefully things will get better down the road anyways let's get going with the reveal of Doom Eternal, over time there is a lot of Doom YouTubers starting to pop up out of nowhere. I remember back when I started my channel in 2018, there was mostly just Midnight and a few handful of channels that were starting to get by. As time went on, of course, we started to see other YouTubers like, of course, Under the Mayu, Alston, Hump, Bite Me and many more and of course this is great to see because you know there's a lot of people out there that have a desire to help build up this community and it's great to see that because i love this community and it's main reason why i built this channel so then that way i can help build it up as well so with under the mayo like he has really grown his channel to really show what he can do as far as analyzing not only doom but other video games but from after watching his content i've actually learned a lot from using different strategies to just knowing how how to handle certain different situations against other demons or whatnot. So for instance, you know, when Doom Eternal first came out, a lot of people didn't want to use certain mods like the microwave mod, for instance. I think most people did know how to use it, but they never really fully utilized it because you know you would obviously move very slowly when you used it but then with under the mayo like he actually analyzed a little bit more with it and found that you know of course there's some really good strategies you can use with it so of course one of the strategies you can obviously use it for is to kill a demon when they're at low health the other one obviously the main one that i would say is the most efficient is to basically just stun lock a demon in their place allowing you to either gain the upper hand by you know switching weapons and taking them out with a combo or to get better footing and to move around the arena to get some more space between you and other demons so of course if you have a lot of pressure units like for instance in the ancient gods part one if you had like someone that was a spirit or possessed demon you could then stun lock them for just a second get some more space between you and them or take them out with a few other combos this was very helpful especially against the the baron on the blood swamps so definitely things like that you know with mayo he also uses a lot of the uh, other weapons that people don't like to use usually which would be the full auto mod and the combat shotgun and and remote detonation now of course in doom 2016 i loved using remote detonation because you didn't have to be super accurate with it and you can take out a lot of demons using splash damage of course in doom eternal i first had the habit of using the lock on burst which is still a really great mod and of course if you're a pro you can easily switch between mods but if you focus too much on one mod versus the other then you miss that opportunity to be able to take out demons a certain way so like for instance now we have in the ancient gods part 2 the riot soldiers or chain gunners whatever the only way to really take them out is to be able to either use the remote detonation or grenades so something like that really helps out with the strategy for playing the game and honestly after looking back from my previous videos that I've recorded from when Doom Eternal came out versus now, I can see a huge difference in a lot of the strategy I've learned from what Mayo has, you know, shown to the community. Now, of course, I have learned from other people too, like Alston and Bite Me and whatnot. Like, those guys have amazing strategies. And I think under the Mayo, for whatever reason, he's just really growing in the community. And I think most of us can at least agree that he is the up-and-coming spotlight 
of the Doom community, like you mentioned. So it is obviously great to see that happening because not only that, it's like he also is able to create other things that are possible, like just challenges, for instance, like brawler mode. I don't personally do that mode, but it's great to see that there are people in the community doing these type of things, whether or not it's Prote using mods or other, you know, mod support in the community. But there's just ways to create another opportunity to make challenges. As you can see here, these are the rules for brawler mode. And, you know, as far as everything goes, like it is very possible to do on either console or PC. And so it, it just gives you that other opportunity because that's the thing with Doom Eternal is that there's always new players coming to the field, whereas there's other veteran players trying to find new ways to challenge themselves. For instance, for PC players, you have the mod support from Prote that gives you a lot of challenge there. We have the master levels, but then of course, brawler mode is another way to have that extra challenge. So I think that's really great that we have that type of mindset that we're always trying to look for new ways to play the game to give that extra replay value. And I think that's great. And I really appreciate everything that Mayo does for the Doom community because it really makes it a community where people can come together, think alike, and be able to have a great time as well. Something also that's really great about him is that he's able to provide valuable feedback to id software. The thing that I don't like is when a lot of times people will play a game and they just don't really have good constructive criticism or feedback to the developers. And so what that does, it doesn't help anything. You know, they'll just see that feedback and just it doesn't help. But with Mayo, uh, what I've noticed over the months, or well, at least the past year, he's obviously been giving very good feedback to id software, whether or not that was something with the master levels when it was having issues, uh, at least the super gorgeous master level anyway, along with other things like other possibilities of how they could do a simple update or at least ways to make it work for both PC and console gamers. But other than that, you know, he is a great gamer. He's really good at the game, so he knows what he's talking about. And I really appreciate everything he's doing for the community. So this has just been a simple video just to express my gratitude to Under the Mayo and just let him know you're doing a great job. Keep it up. I just hope to see other fans in the community being able to do something similar or have another unique channel or something to bring to the table that is different and that will help the Doom community grow even more and become one of the best communities out there is in terms of gaming. But yeah, hope you guys liked my short video just to briefly talk about Under the Mayo and just my thoughts about his channel and his content that I've noticed throughout the past year or so. And if you liked what you saw here, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video so we can get it out there more. I'll try to get more content out there for you guys. I know I haven't been, like I said, very active lately, but I will definitely do my best to get some stuff out there, you know, different kinds of content, more gameplay, maybe do some mod gameplay or whatnot. And eventually down the road, I'll probably have to start playing some new games. I'd like to get into Diablo 2, but we'll, we'll see about that. But other than that, you can also check out my social media accounts at Rip and Tear Gaming. And until next time, hope you guys have a great one. Don't forget to Rip and Tear. Peace.